Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are playing Rule the Waves. Uh, we are the US of A in a battle against Russia in the Baltic Sea over here. Uh, first, actually, what would today be the Baltic States? East Prussia? I think these are modern borders, right? Yeah, that looks like modern borders. Um, anyway, so we are uh, battling against the Russian Empire in uh, the 1912s. We are in a battle uh, that has principally taken out during the night over here, uh, which was a bit of a mixed side. Uh, we sunk one uh, Dreadnought battleship of the Russians. Uh, we lost one pre uh, Dreadnought battleship in North Dakota. Um, so things were somewhat balanced, but I think we um, we had much better gunnery. But during the night engagement, um, we did get at least two torpedo hits. Um, from their side, um, on the Galveston, uh, the light cruiser uh, was caught in a bit of a bad spot and, and defeated. We saw that um, a couple of Russian ships uh, were able to run away, uh, we separated our um, fleets, and now it's daytime again, um, and we bombed into each other again. Um, and that leaves us in this uh, slight mess that we have here. Uh, this is our battle line, you can see we have a couple of pre-dreadnought battleships, um, and a couple of Dreadnought battleships. So our principal uh, damage dealers, I would say, is the New Mexico over here with 14-inch guns. Um, the California-class battleships, California and Colorado over here uh, with 11-inch guns, but quite a bit more of them. And the besides that, we do have some pre-dreadnought three Dreadnought battleships, um, and that would be the Ohio class. I think, what's the name of that actually? Uh, the North Dakota one, uh, Ohio class. I don't quite remember. Um, which is a, which you could call the semi Dreadnought, so um, just four main guns um, in, in two turrets, uh, but with a heavy secondary battery. And our other Dreadnoughts, the um, New York class, and the Arizona, the Michigan, the Delaware and the Illinois, in fact, was um, is is a proper Ohio class. So we lost one of our oldest battleships. They uh, lost one of their latest ones. Uh, we do have one light cruiser remaining, so we are very heavy here on um, on our ships. Um, I'll I'll take a moment just to make sure that everyone is following uh, the appropriate um, ship. So let's make sure that the Delaware is an individual squadron. and the Illinois and Ohio are um, fundamentally the same class, but the Ohio here uh, received some flooding after suffering a um, torpedo hit. And it currently has a speed of 13 out of 17 max. Uh, since there's no flooding anymore, I think we can increase uh, the speed to 17. Uh, we make sure that the Delaware here is following the Illinois, it's doing that, that's lovely to see. This guy, um, the Illinois will uh, control manually as well, um, with a speed of your squad max, is, oh, so, okay, so your squad, your current max, ah, okay, got it, um, so the current max speed of the Ohio class is in fact 30 knots, that's why it's lagging behind so badly. Uh, we'll go down slightly lower just to make sure that we have um, the Ohio uh, being able to catch up on us. Uh, the Delaware again is following the Illinois um, battle line, that's fine. Uh, the Arizona we we'll hope is then following the Delaware, so that's fine. Delaware in fact is the one that lost um, a squadron. Tacoma is set to support, but our main uh, ships are these dreadnought battleships over here. Um, wind is coming in from uh, the west, so that's good. Uh, the smoke will be blowing towards the right and we'll have a relatively uh, unobscured field of fire on the enemy. You can see the enemy has a lot of light ships, uh, which isn't surprising because we are in fact in their home, home waters. Uh, we don't even have a base uh, very close to here. I think our closest base is probably Algeria. Um, yeah, but not in this um, overall area. The light um, ships that are here are a bit of an issue for me uh, because they can cause a lot of trouble with their torpedoes. Uh, so we'll try to keep our distance, not get sucked into this mess, um, and principally engage um, their uh, main battleships over here. We can see we have identified two pre-dreadnought battleships, the 
Bresnevets class, I guess. Uh, of 15,000 tons, not that big, um, but with a couple of 12 inch guns, so they can be dangerous. Uh, they are pretty well armored overall, I have to say. And we have uh, this guy here, which we do believe is a battle cruiser. Let's make sure that this is this. No, it's not. It's a bit of a different class. Oh, yeah, yeah. you can see the gun turrets uh, being slightly differently arranged. This layout here is, is somewhat awkward because you can see it only can fire three guns at us. Otherwise, this guy can fire all four. Um, there might be another battleship over here. We don't know precisely. There are a couple of identified ships uh, roaming around. Uh, we do believe that this is one of their battle cruisers, and that is, of course, my prime target. So um, you can see our engagement range over here with our 11 inch and 14 inch guns. So I think that looks reasonably good. We will be traveling southwest uh, just to sort of match that direction, get into a bit of a, a bit of a better range. Uh, get to the ability to send off broadsides, Speci specifically this turret here is set to cro fire across the deck, so um, that should hopefully be fine. And the Illinois and so on will just uh, keep on... Um, um, sorry, keep on keep on getting um, a bit to, to, towards, uh, to, to, to travel to this direction so that everyone can form up. Uh, I should just briefly look on the damage of, of the New York class. Why is that? Oh, we, we suffered a couple of very heavy hits, I have to say. And some, some of them penetrated. The turrets were struck quite a bit, but um, they, they uh, hold out due to the armor uh, that they do have. But the superstructure was hit at least twice um, with uh, heavy guns. And in fact, very heavy guns um, over here, 13 inch guns. But all in all, I believe you're still fine. Uh, your max speed is okay. We are in fact much, much higher than uh, 16 knots. I think I'll go to 20, uh, so we can make sure that everyone sticks in formation. The max speed of everyone is 21, um, so we'll hope that we can engage. Okay, let's take one turn. And these lines here are indicating uh, which ships are supposed to be fired upon. Um, and it it's very nice to see that they, we are in fact trying to engage this battle cruiser. I'm not sure whether the battle cruiser is trying to run away or whether it. Here we go then. Okay. So, a bit of a reassessment over here. Uh, we now think that this is not in fact a battle cruiser, it's. We have positively identified it as the Sarovich class. Considering less armor, big guns, um. Mm, so what mixed armor I would actually say. Um, and there's that. So I like that they are trying to run away, um, but that does leave us at a bit of an awkward spot because we can't um, outrange them this way, so we will in fact travel a bit more close towards them. And um, by the way, oh yeah, you you are twelve knots, so I think you'll probably be <laughs> We are opening fire, especially the uh, New Mexico is firing Three guns, um, you can see that the New Mexico has uh, this layout of super firing turrets. So that's very lovely to see. Whereas I think the Tsarovich over here um, has not super firing turrets, so I think only this uh, off turret would actually be able to fire upon us. Right then, let's uh, see how it goes. Specifically, let's keep an eye on all these destroyers roaming around. You can see that the, fac the secondary battery is opening up on uh, some of the destroyers. So that's, that's good to see, that's in fact what they're able to do. Uh, the Tsarovich has now turned and is firing four guns on us, so that's uh, a bit of an issue. Uh, sorry, four turrets, so eight guns actually. Um, I'm still going to run towards this direction for at least two turns, uh, because I want to get our 11-inch guns into range. Now, now it's turning closer towards us, so we are going towards this direction over here, um, and hope that that is going to be fine. Um, the Delaware we will also send a bit closer towards the edge. Right then, um, Sarovich is I guess turning ready a bit. So how does it look? You are firing with all your guns. You are firing with all your guns. You just have the front gun engaged for now. I think you'll turn around, so that's nice to see. 
with speed are they traveling at 15 knots so we have an advantage there um, although yeah okay good to see uh, we saw that Colorado here is firing 9, 9 11 inch guns at the previs so yeah so everyone is engaging one ship right you see you can see California engaging the last ship Colorado engaging this ship and um, New Mexico is engaging with Zarovich. I would like to be more fire on the Zarovich, but that is not something that we can control. Um, these guys, um, I think the Ohio only had 30 knots here. Um, yeah, you'll be lagging behind, but there's nothing we can do about that really, so just have to roll with it. Um, there we go. What ratio do we actually have? I don't. I don't like that these guns are not pointing the way that I actually expect them to be pointing at. So eight guns on us um, versus eight guns on theirs. Uh, our guns are a bit heavier. I think we are slightly better armored. Um, let's hope that the New York uh, will do its thing. Um, we're certainly out outclassing these guys with our um, Colorado and California classes. Alright. No hits yet. <laughs> First hit of an 11 hit um, caliper gun on the um, second battleship of theirs, so that's nice to see. Um, really like these guys to be um, engaging at least the destroyers. Right then, we'll at least try to make sure that they are somewhat traveling closer towards them. Um, <laughs> By a 14 inch gun, good, lovely to see. I like to see that. Um, yeah, all of the guns are still in action though, so right, right. Um, California firing, sorry, um, the Ohio. Okay, so you know what the 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 Delaware it's not going to be AI controlled anymore. The Delaware we will send um, at the max speed, 11 knots towards here. The Illinois and the Ohio, um, I will tell them to be very very slow. Um, I will tell them to not try to be a core part, just be independent and be line ahead. Um, be at a very low speed so that your damage control um, works out fine. Because right now the Ohio here was traveling too close to its max speed, so the flooding increased, um, and we are suffering uh, quite a bit of flotation damage already. And if, I'm, I'm not sure how the math works, I think that is the per second income of, um, of tons, no, it can't be tons, whatever, whatever measure of, of um, water coming in, and if we, I were to see too much flotation damage, uh, we'd sink, obviously. More hits on them. Good. See, the, the New Mexico is now also targeting um, this battleship. And that's a bit stupid, honestly. I mean, it's nice that we took out one of their guns. Uh, at least temporarily. Um, also, one of the turrets here on the um, on this battleship is out of commission, so it's nice. We reduce their volume of fire by quite a bit, um, at least on these ships. But you know, most fire still comes from this guy. These guys. These guys. Um, I think all of these are 12-inch guns. Yeah. So we have four, seven, 12-inch uh, guns from these guys, and these guys. Contribute eight 13 inch guns. So this ship alone um, carries more firepower than, than uh, these two combined. So that's really what we should be firing upon, especially given that this guy has uh, lower armor. Um, but I don't think that we can, can do that. Oh well, we'll see. Ohio limits flooding, that's good to see. So uh, how is Ohio doing? Yeah, flooding is going down, oh, but, but okay, of course flotation damage is still significant. 
Um, you are trying to come closer to the action, that's good to see. Um, the battleships, or the uh, dreadnought battleships, pre-dreadnought battleships, the old battleships here seem to be retiring somewhat. Um, at least they are behind the other guys now, and the Tsarovich here is only traveling at 10 knots now, so that's good to see. More damage on them. But you can see that they are again targeting our, our front ships here a bit more. The black lines coming in from several ships. Um, they are turning away somewhat, uh, which is nice because that puts quite a lot of their guns out of action. Um, but we'll have to see what that means. Um, I think we have to come in slightly so that we can make sure to engage them. Maybe not quite so much. A bit of a mistake. I misinterpreted their maneuver um, and thought that they would um, try to get away from us a bit more. Uh, which apparently they are not. And I would love to get these guys to pull out of range and uh, just instead target the Tsarovich. Or have limiting flooding. Colorado turret jammed. So this turret here is at least temporarily out of action. Vesta class? What? Oh, okay, that's just a lot of cruiser. Ohio limits flooding. And Sarovich is firing at, uh, at us. It's missing, but not my bunch. It's, it's, um, shells are landing on both sides of the target, so that's not, not that great to see. Um, I think we'll go down by one knot just to make sure that we are not outpacing them too badly. I'm also worried about these ships down there, and I'm not sure why they are turning in towards us like that. Ah. They should be turning around soon, I hope. We are still firing at their old dreadnoughts, uh, pre dreadnought battleships. No idea why that is. Ohio, how are you doing? Yeah, very little flotation damage. That away, you're coming in closer now. You would be engaging, engaging the Tsarovich. Oh, I mean, that's okay for me. As long as we are putting some down some fire upon them. No hits. Yeah, so these guys up there are now out of uh, range and will do their individual things. Uh, which I don't particularly like because that means that um, they'll just be stupid. So, what's the situation over here? And why did I lose my... There might be the outer safe here. Um, these destroyers are getting too close. We can't turn into that direction, which is kind of clever, but we could turn around. More hits on them. Colorado suffering hit from a normal battleship, so I think a 12 inch. Um, hit on the Colorado. Some structure, some flotation damage. Yeah, on the. Oh, good hit. I have to give it to them. Mm, but we retaliate. Just with 11 inch guns, though. Um, and that's what I like to see. Six 14-inch uh, guns from the New Mexico uh, are firing on them, upon that, and the and the California has opened up as well. And so that's very good to see. I like that. <laughs> so that uh, we get a 14-caliber, a 14-inch hit. 
um, Delaware is catching up and Delaware is firing up on that as well just with their front uh, turrets though um, it doesn't really have much more but um, I'll make sure to be at least on the same side um, of the battle line there's no uh, point in trying to flank them with all these destroyers um, buzzing about hits on there and uh, now we switch fire again what a pity what a pity really um, still, their back turret is out of action. This guy has come back online, and how our guys looking? Yeah, Karate is still suffering from one. Attacks on the Tsarovich with an 11 inch hit. is still uh, still jammed but on the Colorado it's um, back in action. Okay, at least California is targeting the Tsarovich. Colorado <laughs> turret jammed um, again. So <laughs> I mean we have more heavy guns um, as well. <laughs> so it becomes a bit of an issue, uh, but not too much. So I'm, I'm um, not too concerned about that now. Um, I think it's time to turn slightly towards the west, um, just so we can make sure to keep them in range. And uh, they seem to be um, destroyers here are up about. I think they are trying maybe to cover the retreat. Um, so we will have our Delaware class um, come up. Uh, sorry, New York class, three New York class battleships, all battleships come up like this. Um, so we may, can maybe um, engage these guys a bit better. Um, we are going to um, turn slightly towards the south because I'm worried about the destroyers and I want to at least give good broadsides on them uh, before they get off into Peters. And you can see that all of our secondary guns are now engaging this destroyer. While trying to um, and in fact, yeah, there are our first 6 inch hits. I think that's beyond the Peter. We are just, just um, able to engage these guys with our 11 inch guns anymore, but um, yeah, not for much longer though. We are hitting them somewhat, but not too too nicely. Um, you guys probably need to come south because otherwise you'd be too exposed. Ooh, New, New Mexico turret jam. That's not good because uh, New Mexico is relying on fewer turrets to put out. Um, Damage, so that's not. We are now outside of our engagement range um, of the 11 inch guns, um, but at least these two battle divisions up here uh, seem to be doing fine. So I think we need to go northwest. Um, there would be a bit disadvantages with the. Uh, um, in fact, increase our speed to 21 knots. Um, because we want to. You guys, can you get to a parallel course also to the northwest? You need to go a bit more like this so that we Oh, the new Mexico was out of action. Oh, okay, the real one. So that means that we can in fact still fire upon uh, the front, which we are. <laughs> that way, you're firing on the Tsarovich. I don't think that's a good battle for you to fight, actually. Um, it's actually, it might have been a mistake too. You know what? Just, just, just come to the southwest and um, try to cross and um, get a. <laughs> Don't expose yourself too much. Maybe get a, a, some hits on these destroyers. Stop screwing up because I'm giving too many orders per um, 
And then they... <laughs> oh, there we go, Delaware Pies on the Tower of again. And these destroyers are turning... <laughs> Hopefully a lot of 6 inch fire. Yeah, so all of our chasing guns are now in some damage and you need to go south. Or come up north. What do you want to do? Northwest maybe? We need our main guns here to, to be um, closer to them, so I think we will go slightly towards them. Destroyers are still very irritating. Which they probably um Ooh, Michigan. Michigan is it, right? Yes. Uptakes, so your max speed just dropped to fifteen knots. Uh, that means our whole division is limited to fifteen knots now. Um come up behind that. I don't think um, these battleships are turning around, which is interesting to see. Um, so that means we will be traveling slightly more to the west, and so we can get a good. Um, that should be north as they are. Uh, but I do hope that like this, with all of our battleships firing upon them. Uh, Battery now. Um, yeah, we should be able to to outpace them. Um, come upon like that. You go straight north. Um, this is supposed to be a battleship, but I don't quite that believe that. More hits on this guy. Mm, all in all, good hits. And this destroyer was sunk, so that I appreciate very much because I hate destroyers. Um, lots of stuff buzzing around like that. Um, they're trying to run away, obviously, from us now, uh, but I want to keep going like this to get a couple of good broadsides on these um, on these three Adra battleships. Maybe it's got good. Just deal some damage before uh, we need to get back into chasing mode. It probably is now. Uh, we are dealing some damage. Uh, which is the Delaware here um, I think might go slightly more to the east so that we are sure to um, They are. Um, I'm worried about this light cruiser because it's suffering from medium damage and it's you know, kind of in our way. So that's where really Ooh, Arizona waterline hit. Um, so that's you. Some flooding, a heavy hit. Yeah, that's just the waterline. Um, you're limited to 16 knots. I think we'll leave it at 15 for now. How are you guys doing? It's supposed to have light damage only, but you're 15, traveling at 15 knots, so that's not too fast. Yeah, the best of cars is a problem though. Your back turret is not engaging, your secondaries are Arizona. Yeah, same same with you. So um, I think you guys want to maybe go straight east. Um, New York 
being hit out just by light guns. <laughs> um, New Mexico, sorry. Um, yeah, but this is really close now, so maybe go go south uh, east. <laughs> Traveling on the configuration there. These guys are using that to turn around and maybe engage us a bit more. Secondaries are now firing on the Vesta. Let's not ignore these destroyers. these guys um, but they have the heavy secondary battery so it's nice that they are dealing some damage towards their auxiliaries or not auxiliaries um. <laughs> heavy damage that's good to see to the what's the northeast turn in again um lots of ships there that's okay um you maybe also need to go a bit more it's worthwhile to um oh nice you are sinking Love it. Yeah, one turret completely destroyed, one out of action. So these guys are gone. Um, that means we look coming a bit more like that. Destroy the Tsarovich. We don't want to be too close to it, so I'm going to... We might launch some... You know the other one, <laughs> basically. Uh, <laughs> um, at close range now, so. completely out of ammo. Um, Colorado hit. Not nice. From which? From you? 
Ah yeah, your, your frontal gun turret is out of action, but your rear one still works. Stop firing on this guy! He's on fire! Oh, but he's not listed as sinking anymore, so... I don't know. Um, hit on this guy. Good to see. Hitting in really on the... Uh, on both of these, really. Mm, you can you can you come up like that? To just follow these guys. Maybe finish off uh, the either of these. Might I'm feeling good about this. I think the de the three New York classes here. Uh, we'll be able to deal with the old battleships now, especially this one who's on fire and singing. Uh, she here is suffering heavy damage, but still doing 15 knots, so... <laughs> Forado hit again. <laughs> you know, as I say, you know, this guy is basically done for. Oh no, it's Tsarovich, they fired. <laughs> Alright, it's just 6 inch guns. Medium damage. Are you using all your turrets? Yeah, on on the light cruiser. Are you serious? <laughs> my oh my. Um, this guy being hit more. Everyone win. <laughs> We are pulling up a bit. That's that's trying not to be too fancy here. Um, also, which of your turrets are firing? Just the rear one. It's good to see. Um, and I would like to keep it this way. So maybe go slightly. So there are two alternatives now. I could either turn around, just come in behind that, and sort of zigzag around behind him, um, or go slightly towards the north so that we keep a bit more um, towards the rear aspect and I think that's what I'm going to do because I don't want to get too close to this guy I want these guys to focus their remaining ammunition on uh, the battleship <laughs> We are seriously running low on, on ammo now Come on, fire on the net <laughs> You Firing on him, nice. You also, hmm. okay. Um, really, guys, this is your target. Mm, what? What? Have I missed someone? What's going on here? These are just destroyers. It's a sunk destroyer. The Ohio destroyer. Battleship. Still burning? Are you? Yes, you are. Good to see. You are firing on him, and I think I want to keep you on that course. So, you are supposed to fire on a battleship division of. Vesta class? Isn't the Vesta class a light cruiser? Yes, it is, so the point this. Um you're not supposed to fire on this guy, that's that's confirmed. So yeah, I think this guy's actually uh, your your target if you prefer so Uh, even 
this guy only has uh, high explosive ammo, so yeah, that's why he's not firing. Um, although I think he should. Yeah, starting to run really low ammo on, on a couple of these guns, forward gun, aft gun. Um, it's, there's still some around. California, yeah, it's, it's getting really low. Delaware, also very low, just one turret in action. Same here on the Arizona, um, the Michigan, same really for all of you. Um, so I'm not sure whether... <laughs> see that at least the front gun it might be um, an, a firing angle thing but we haven't seen it fire in a while and um, let's go to training marks let's calm down <laughs> our remaining ammo at, at least <laughs> being hit by Illinois, Illinois and Ohio over here. And you guys go over here, try to finish this one off. Um, are you independent? No. You should be independent. And I will tell you to target the I'm not sure, is Colorado suffering from any issue? Yes, grades fouled, okay, that's why. Um, yeah, so I guess stick to 18 months now. Ohio? Ohio has been detached. What are you doing, my friend? Why do you have flooding? What's that caused by you be trying to run around too fast? Current speed 11. Can I tell you to please? Please don't be stupid. I think Illinois is under attack from these destroyers. But Illinois has 11 inch and 10, 10 inch guns, so I, I hope. Um, <laughs> Just <laughs> but um, that's not that great. Um, yeah, and here you can see these guys are being hit by 10 inch guns and suffering heavy damage from it. So, um, what about you? Heavy damage on fire? Mm, come on, like this. We are not going away too far from. <laughs> And just like that, and just like that, we turn the win into uh, into a considerable loss. New York being blown up, just like that. Let's <laughs> turn around. Um, yeah, let's. My God. What a loss. What a loss.
yes, I certainly want you to pick this up. My god. Just like that, being blown up. Illinois and Ohio. Wait, um, can I? Well, the Delaware here to at least try to be a core part of the. Not Illinois, sorry, not Illinois. Um, at least get towards the Colorado. Yeah, there we go, at least we sunk that. Let's try to help out the Illinois and struggle with this. What an infamous battle! We lost so much. And we did not destroy enough for that to be a considerable win. It was partly due to the night action, but partly also just due um, to us being. Um, also, because we were trying to. Uh, Small chips now. Oh, from the damage it took earlier. Let's go there. Pick up survivors at least. I think we can go far. Just a bit of reaction going on, really. Oh my, what a loss. They are also picking up survivors. Yes, please. And full speed. What is the Illinois actually doing? Russia major victory, yes, yes, that's absolutely true, it's absolutely fair. We sunk a battle cruiser, they sunk a battleship, uh, one battleship suffered medium damage, so that will be in turn because we don't have a basis. Uh, we sunk two battleships, but, um, uh, sorry, we lost two battleships actually. Um, yeah, that's, 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 oh my, a, a major victory for Russia over here. Yeah, the points, I mean, that's the fair assessment, I believe. Yes, that will be the Battle of the Baltic States. Right then, it's been a long episode, um, and and <laughs> catastrophic one at that. We are now down to just one um, every battleship because all the other ones are interned um, or will be so very soon. So um, the last thing that I'm going to do in this episode is tell all of our guys to come back, in fact, towards um, our home base because that's uh, where we will try to lick our wounds and try to re-establish ourselves. Um, things under construction are still very very far away so there's very little hope for us to, to turn this thing around. Um, but we'll have to see in the next episode. For now I'm, I'm very salty but um, uh, yeah that's that's just war. Sometimes you a ship blows on you blows up on you like that. So. Thank you guys for watching, hope you found that entertaining, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.